Hello, Ivy History Scholars, it's Mr. Newcomb. We're coming near the end of week two of distant learning, and so I thought I'd take a little time to check in, do a little housekeeping uh, items, and then uh, give a preview of what week three will look like for you. So in terms of housekeeping items, first one is attendance. I have been uh, emphasizing that a point through all the updates that I've been sending. And so it is important that you are checking in periodically into Schoology and you need to get onto the Schoology page in order for uh, it to record uh, your attendance. And so looking back on the analytics, uh, attendance has been really good. So keep doing what you're doing. The assignment causes of the Kosovo crisis, which should be in a brochure form that will be due Thursday, April 9th. So as I review the uh, causes of the Kosovo conflict, a uh, few things stand out. One, uh, this area just has a history of ethnic tension among uh, the multinational groups that live in the Bakland area. And in terms of the Kosovo conflict, we're really looking at the tension between uh, Serbs and Albanians. What is kind of contributing to this conflict uh, besides uh, the, the history of tension, the collapse of, the, of Yugoslavia kind of gives that catalyst. And so you saw that in the early 1990s. Uh, there were some conflicts that flared up, subsided, but then by the end of the 1990s, the conflict is going to flare up again here. The desire for more autonomy or independence by Kosovar Albanians, and then the nationalist rhetoric and actions by Serbia, and more specifically their, their president, Slobodan Milosevic. And so in 1999, the conflict uh, does flare up. So when we actually look at this conflict um, and how it plays out, kind of a little overview of that, uh, a few things stand out there. Serbia is exerting more influence, and that can be uh, through political changes, but then also uh, sending in uh, the military to uh, exert its influence as well. Uh, the question of international intervention is there. Uh, in, this co in this conflict, NATO definitely will get involved, uh, while the United Nations is going to once again debate whether or not to get in involved in evolved or not and so they're they're sitting on the fence and so during the actual conflict they don't get involved they will serve more as uh, peacekeepers uh, after the conflict and then uh, ethnic cleansing or genocide uh, that uh, will find itself uh, play out in this uh, conflict and so uh, we need to uh, determine whether or not was this ethnic cleansing or genocide and then ultimately, uh, Kosovan independence is the goal of the Kosovar Albanians. So uh, the assignment for um, next week uh, will be the Kosovo uh, course of conflict and intervention. It can be found in the case study folder, Kosovo. Uh, this can be done with a historical buddy, and that's one other classmate. So let's just keep it simple there. Uh, you do also have that option to do the solo, always have that option. Uh, you have um, options for the finished product, so you want to make sure you look at that list and find which one uh, will suit your uh, needs. And ultimately, this will be due Friday, April 17th, so keep that deadline in mind. Uh, if you have questions or concerns about this assignment, uh, always email me. I will get back as soon as um, possible. And so with that, um, hopefully distant learning has been going uh, well for you. Be safe and take care.